Hi there, we have some more problems here, objective type. The first question, isomeric C5H11Cl on dehydrohalogenation can give to a maximum how many structurally different alkenes? You are given C5H11Cl. Which isomer of that is not mentioned. Instead they are asking, you take all these isomers and try to get all the alkenes possible from them and count the number of different alkenes you obtained from isomeric C5H11Cl. Now freeze, try to get the answer, come back. See, C5H11Cl, it's a parent alkane, to get its parent alkane, remove that chlorine and add one hydrogen, you get C5H12. It is nothing but a saturated pentane. So, we are discussing isomeric pentanes monohalo derivatives. Which are the isomeric pentanes? Normal pentane, isopentane, neopentane. Okay. And you can have chlorine in different position. 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 1, 1, 1. Don't bother about the monohalo derivative. Think about the double bonds that can appear when any monohalo derivative is heated with the alcoholic KOH. What is alcoholic KOH or what is the use of alcoholic KOH? It is a dehydrohalogenating agent. It removes hydrogen and chlorine from adjacent carbon, thereby introducing a second bond of pi bond or making the bond a double bond. So that is the way we introduce a double bond from a halide, a haloalkane, from a haloalkane. So look here. Whether the chlorine is here or here, if a uh, hydrogen chloride is eliminated from here, a double bond will appear here. If the chlorine is here, there is another possibility double bond is introduced here. So you don't have to worry about the position of chlorine. You can you need just uh, count the number of different positions in which double bond may come. Look here, a double bond may appear here. It is one pending. Double bond may appear here. After elimination of HCl, 2 pending. If it appears here, it is again 2 pending. If it appears here, again it is 1 pending. So, from normal pentane, you get only 2 alkenes. We are not bothered about optical isomers and geometrical isomers. We are bothered only about structurally different. Structural isomers alone we are bothered about. Now, look at this compound. New, uh, isopentane, a double, if chlorine is here or here, a double bond may come here or here or here. So, one possibility, double bond comes here. The same will be the product when double bond comes over here. So, one, then two, then three. Three different positions where double bonds can be introduced. So, you can get three different alkenes from there. Three alkenes. Now come up to the last case. See, there are four carbon-carbon bond, but none of them permits the introduction of a double bond because then this central carbon would, would turn pentavalent. So there is no answer. There is no alkene obtainable from here. Zero alkene. Okay. So the total number of you can uh, see one thing is that here you can introduce chlorine, of course. Here, here, here or here, you can introduce chlorine, but there is no alpha, beta elimination or dehydrohalogenation possible. So, zero, so total number 2 plus 3, 5. Five different alkene you can get from all the isomeric C5H11Cl taken together. Your answer will be B. Okay. Next question. Ethene is substituted by one atom each of fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. How many total isomers are possible including geometrical isomers? Uh, you are starting with the 18. 
and replacing all the four hydrogen with the four halogen atom. And you have to verify total number of possible isomers, including geometrical isomers. That's the thing you have to do. Please try, freeze, then come back. Okay. Okay. How to proceed? We have to be very systematic. Otherwise, we may miss one or two from the sequence. So, you have to be very systematic. Otherwise, you may miss in between. To be systematic, I start with the fluorine on this carbon and chlorine as its partner on the same side. Now, we, you are left with the bromine and iodine. You can place bromine here, iodine here. Then take a it's a geometrical isomer, means retain fluorine and chlorine here, but insert, invert I and Br. So you got a pair of geometrical isomers where fluorine's partner is chlorine. Now you take fluorine's partner's bromine. Then you have chlorine and iodine here. Then take a, there, it's a geometrical isomer. Fluorine, bromine retained here. Iodine and chlorine in, inverted. Okay, so you had another pair. All these four are different. Now you take fluorine's partner as iodine. So that chlorine bromine comes here. Then you take its a geometrical isomer by retaining fluorine and hydrogen here, but exchanging bromine and chlorine. So you got six different compounds. Do we have to repeat the same procedure with the chlorine as the reference, then bromine as the reference, then iodine as the reference? means each fluorine reference, 6 chlorine, bromine, iodine. So 4 in the 6, 24 different isomers, no. Only this 6 will be there. Why? You can have chlorine with the I, uh, second, uh, if you make uh, then uh, chlorine as the reference, chlorine with the bromine, then chlorine with the iodine, you have to consider. Then if you take bromine with the S reference, you have to take bromine and iodine as its partner. But all these things might have already come here. For example, suppose chlorine and bromine on one side, chlorine and bromine, chlorine and bromine. So chlorine as partner, bromine has already come. Now chlorine with iodine, chlorine with iodine, chlorine with iodine. So that case is also. Now bromine with iodine, bromine with iodine, bromine with iodine. So all combinations have already happened. So there is no more geometrical isomers possible. So the maximum number will be 6 on. Hope you understood that. Okay. The next question. Xylenes are dimethyl benzenes. Xylene and the parameter dimethyl benzene. If orthomethyl paraxylenes are monochlorinated on the ring, not on the side chain, how many different isomers are obtained all together? You are you have orthomethyl paraxylene mixture and you are monochlorinating on the ring. In that case, how many total number of isomers, structural isomers you will be getting? That's the question. Okay. Freeze. Try to get. Come back. See, I'm drawing orthoxylene, metoxylene and pyroxylene here. This is orthoxylene. This is metoxylene. And this is paroxylene. Now, what you have to do is to identify different positions here. You have to identify the different positions here. Look at this structure. This and this are identical. So if you chlorinate there, you get one same derivative, same monochloride derivative. And this and this are identical, you get the second monochloride derivative. Coming to metoxylene, this is a different position. These two are identical and this is a third different position. So from here you get a two, from here you get a three. And the last one, paroxyl. 
See, all the four positions are identical here. So, from there, you get only one derivative. Therefore, total number is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 6. So, your answer is 6 monochloro derivative as a whole. D is your answer. Hope you follow that. Okay. Next question. What is the IUPC name of the major alkene obtained by the dehydrohalogenation of tertiary hexyl chloride? Tertiary hexyl chloride has been subjected to dehydrohalogenation. The reagent is alcoholic AOH. And you have to name the, you have to give the IUPC name of the major product. So there must be the possibility of formation of more than one product. You have to decide the major product and give its IUPAC name. I haven't given the options here. Please try. Uh, freeze, the, uh, uh, freeze the video. Please try and come back. Okay. What is tertiary hexyl chloride? CH3. CH3. Cl. Three carbons used already. CH2. CH2, CH3. This is tertiary hexyl chloride. And if you treat it with alcoholic AOH, one HCl get eliminated. Alpha beta elimination. So, which are the possible positions in which double bond may come? A double bond may come here. So, that is position 1. That position and this position are identical. So this is also position 1. A second position is here 2. So then we have two products as shown here. Look here. One corresponds to the position 1 and the other corresponds to position 2. Since it may not be visible there, I am writing here. 1. What will be the product? See, I am writing here. CH3, CH2, CH2, C, double bond CH2, CH3. That corresponds to position 1 elimination. Now we have the other one. CH3, CH2, CH double bond C with the two methyl groups. These are the two products and we know the major product is a more substituted alkene. An alkene in which the double bond carbons carry more alkyl groups as per Seitz of rule of elimination. Look at here. This double bond has two alkyl group on one side but no alkyl group on the other side. Coming to this, this double bond has 1, 2, 3. 3 alkyl groups surrounding it. So, more stable will be this. So, this will be the major product. And this will be the minor product. We are supposed to answer the major products IUPAC. But we will tell the IUPAC of both. Look here. Its numbering will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it is 2 meter pent 1 in. Minor product is 2 methyl pent 1 in. Whereas this is the major product. Its numbering will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So its IUPC name will be 2 methyl pent 2 in. 2 methyl pent 2 in. Pent 2 in. So our answer will be 2 methyl pent 2 in will be the answer because that is the major product. Hope you understood that. We will meet again. Take care.